What's up everybody, it's Blaze from Funbox here and let's keep going from the last video that we did which was getting all that animation stuff going and let's start sending our attack information from our selected unit to the unit target. A couple of things before we get started. And the first thing is when we attack, I just want to explain this for loop a little more and go over it a little more. So what's basically going to happen is it's going to run through the list of units, right? And so because we have this break here, we are going to select from the top. If it is, if that top unit is not the selected unit, that is what's going to become targeted. And so if we try playing the game, and maybe you've already noticed this, but if our unit at the top here is uh, currently six, all right, and he attacks somebody else, which is fine. Now, our unit number nine, eight, and seven predictably will target unit six, right? So unit six up here and again and again. Now, that's just the nature of how we've written this, um, this for loop here. Don't worry about it because eventually once we implement unit selection, so selecting our targets, this will basically become redundant, right? So right now we're just trying to get the basic functionality in and get some get something of a game going. So don't worry if you're not if it's kind of acting weird or if you don't want it to act in the way that it is because it is still fairly early. So with that out of the way, let's go through a couple of changes that I made off camera. The first one was with attack power. So with our attack power, because we're working with, um, yeah, with, uh, with dealing damage now, I've given it a range just so that we can see what's going to happen from if the attack is the same as the defense all the way up to greater than attack. Uh, sorry, greater than defense, right? So we want to make sure that our damage unit function is working properly. The other thing that I made a change to was this uh, debug line right here. So before it was showing the speed of our character. This time what we're going to do is show the attack power because that's what we're focusing on. Okay, so uh, that should be it. We are going to be dealing with this incoming damage variable right now. And actually, what we're going to do is after the hurt phase, at the end of the hurt phase, just before we just before we change our state, what we're going to do is incoming damage. We're going to set that back to zero. The reason being because we're sending one, uh, we're sending some information from one unit to another. We want to reset it at the end of this uh, of the damaged unit's hurt phase. It doesn't. It actually doesn't matter. We don't have to have that there for now. Um, yeah, I don't think we need it there, but just to be safe, it's better to be safe than sorry. We're just gonna add this one line here. The rest of our code, however, is going to be uh, in our helper file and down here in the unit attack script, uh, unit attack function. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our global selected unit let me just cut that. And we are going to store that in a local variable, which I will call unit, just like that. And so naturally, we're going to call unit dot attack will hit. And if the attack will hit, then we're going to do a whole bunch of other stuff. The next thing that we're going to do, and strictly speaking, it's the last thing that we're going to do for this video is uh, incoming damage, incoming damage equals or is unit dot current and then in square braces we're going to write at attack power attack power just like that All right so let's save that out okay good there's no errors which is exactly what we're looking for and if i click we can see that he missed. <laughs> okay, so if if our attack hits, um, in this case, he's going to target this guy up here. If our attack hits, we can see that uh, four minus one defense, four minus one is three. And so we now have seven 
out of 10. Now let's see what happens if we continuously attack our this guy here. Because like I said before at the start of this video, the way that we've got our unit targeting set up at the moment is very basic. And so everyone's going to target this guy up here because he's at the top of the list. So if the attack minus the defense, right? So right now uh, they're all missing their attacks, which is fine, I guess. But uh, please hit. Okay, so here we go. We can see now that our attack, because our attack went from is greater than the defense, we can see now that his health is minus four. And strictly speaking, at zero out of 10 health, the unit that's affected should die. We're going to address that in not the next video, the video most likely after that in a brand new section because that is a fairly large section. Um, so don't worry about going into negative health for now because that's totally fine. What we've accomplished is exactly what this video was about, which is sending attack data from one unit to another unit. We are finished with that. So in the next video, what we're going to do is, if I show you guys here, we have a miss animation, or at least I have a miss animation here. And we want our units or our attacking unit to react accordingly, right? So we want to play this animation and we are going to send out a broadcast that tells everybody that, hey, this unit missed their attack, right? So that's what we're going to do in the next video. And then after that, before we start the new section, or maybe after we start the new section, we will start putting some UI stuff in so we're not looking at debug code all the time. So that's it for this video. We wrote hardly any code, which is fine. I'm going to get some lunch because it's, it's 1 p.m. right now and I am hungry. So uh, before I leave, if you guys like this series, then please do tell me that you are enjoying it. If you guys want to see more of this content as it comes out, I know things are delayed at the moment because of my work situation, then just you know, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you guys do get alerted when a new video comes up. Also, one more thing before I go is I'm thinking about opening up a Discord server for all of my subscribers here, somewhere that we can all get together. We can have a chat if I'm not making any content. I can also take suggestions there. And if you guys just want to hang out and chat with other people here or myself, then we can do that there as well. Please do let me know in the comments uh, if you are interested in joining a discount, uh, not discount, <laughs> Discord server. I know that um, most of you guys were probably part of a lot of Discord servers, but hey, if you guys don't mind joining one more, then I'd be totally on board with starting one. Of course, that is assuming that enough people are interested in that. So if you are interested in that, please do let me know. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I'm going to get my lunch. Hope you guys have a nice day, but for now, that's it for me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.